Right, gamers, our action in E3 continues in the Sega booth here, and I'm with Alex Moore. He is the lead designer of the new upcoming game, Aliens vs. Predator. What's going on, Alex? Hi, how you doing? Yeah. How's your show so far? Uh, it's going really well. The songs get a little tired, but, you know, it's end of day three, so really excited. Reception of the game has been brilliant. I mean, you could be really tired, but as long as you don't have an alien or a predator chasing you, I think you're all right, right? I should be all right, yeah. If, if a predator gets hold of me, my head's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty intense uh, series. If you notice, obviously, Alien versus Predator. You know, you know what aliens are. You know what predators are. Aliens versus Predators is a badass movie, the second one. Um, I actually just found out that Rebellion Studios, that Alex is the lead designer for, um, you guys actually produced the older one back in the day from the Jaguar, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, back in 94, that we did the Atari Jaguar version, and then the first PC version in 99. So you guys have a lot of a aliens and a lot of Predator experience. We've, we've been using, used to this license for a long time. We've been working on it for a long time. A lot of fans in the studio. I mean, there's a lot of fans out there in the world as well. But yeah, we've got some big fans, uh, and, uh, and we've worked with Fox a lot, and they know that we know this franchise backwards. Nice, nice. Now, so tell us, what is Aliens vs. Predator? This is now for PS3 and Xbox 360? Uh, and PC as well, and it'll be out quarter one next year. Now, now, what is what's new to the franchise? What can we expect from this? this is obviously a first-person shooter or a first-person uh, rip them up. I don't, I don't know. You're doing a lot more than shooting in this game, obviously. Yeah, you are. I mean, it depends on the species that you are. We, each species is very different. It's not just three guys with different guns. As the marine, your survival horror, you're afraid of the dark. It's all about lighting up those areas where an alien could pop out at any time and grab you. As the alien, you are that thing that in the dark that everybody's shit scared of. And then, as the predator, you're in between. You're the hunter. You're basically using these people as toys to prove that you are the best hunter in the galaxy. Now, uh, in the Aliens vs. Predator movies, and then, uh, of course, some of the color comic books, there's also the, uh, the humans. Are they involved? The Marine Space Marines involved in this at all? Yeah, we've got the Colonial Marines in there. Uh, we're about 30 years after Aliens, so you'll have all the technology that you're familiar with. So you'll have the pulse rifle, you've got the motion tracker gun, and all that sort of stuff. And, we're just putting a little bit more of a twist on it because we're setting it slightly further on. What have you guys are you uh, utilizing in regards to like stage design? Like, where is this taking place? Uh, this is taking place on a new planet to the franchise. We're like I say about 30 years ahead of Aliens, and this planet's been colonized for about 20 years, something like that. Predators used to be on it a long, long time ago. Marine uh, humans have been uh, researching it, trying to find out the secret of the planet. The Predators have got wind that they're on there. And they've come back and to say, get off my planet, that's ours, get away from our secrets. And then there's aliens sort of mixed into that as well. Now, uh, in regards to like special techniques that like the aliens and the predators have, what is some of the cool stuff that the aliens can do in this game? Okay, so I mean the aliens can do what they could in the previous games, so they can go on any surface. And they'll use they'll use dark and, and light intelligently so they know when they can be, where they can hide and they'll use vents, they'll, they'll disappear, they'll go into a little bolt hole in the environment and they'll pop out of another one behind you and then they'll get you from behind. So they really keep you on your toes at all time and if they get close to you then you're in a lot of trouble because they've got razor sharp teeth and they've got acid for blood. And then as the predator you can jump around the environment, use it to your fullest and then as the marine you've got all the weaponry that you'd expect. Now, the question is, obviously, uh, I mean, just by looking at it, this is definitely a mature title, not like that first Alien vs. Predator movie, right? No PG-13 nonsense here. No, no PG-13 stuff here. We're, we're ripping people apart, we're blowing them up, uh, we're biting through their skulls. We're, we're doing everything that you want to be able to do in these games. Now, in regards to uh, stage, how many stages, how many stages can obviously say that are going to be available, so to speak? I know it's like, this is like a, what, a beta version right now? Uh, yeah, so each, each species has its own campaign um, and its own, its own storyline. They all show a perspective on a, on a single story but they, e each one is, is complete. So you can play through the alien campaign and it'll make sense and you can play through the marine campaign and you can switch about as you desire. And each campaign is a good length, it's a really good sized game and then we've got multiplayer on top of that as well. Now, uh, uh, you know, of course a lot of FPS stuff uh, nowadays has a lot of DLC uh, eventually dribbling out. Do you see any DLC on the, in the works for this type of stuff now that you have a new, uh, new next-gen system to play on? Yeah, I mean, it's a AAA title, so AAA titles these days have DLC. It's, it's, they, they go hand in hand. Um, it, and it increases the longevity of the title, and it, it, it gets gamers excited about it again. And, you know, with the multiplayer, AVP2 still played today, it's on, what, eight years after it came out? And 
you know, the game's probably even shut the servers down and it's still being played. So there's obviously a large fan base there that we can that we can use that we we want to help and, and get them the game that they want to play. Now, I'm looking at some of the graphics, pretty intense stuff, uh, it's really, really detailed. You guys are utilizing, it, obviously, the HD engine here? Uh, yeah, we're using our in-house engine, Azura. Uh, we've been using that for about eight years. We sort of first game we did on it was actually a light gun game on PS2 called Jesse James, and we did Judge Dread, did Rogue Trooper, we did Sniper Elite on it, and Black Hawk Down games as well. So it's a mature engine, it's cross-platform, and it's yeah, it's pretty much all bespoke in-house. We use very little, um, we use very little license software. Now, in regards to HD quality, because uh, you know, like I said, it's HD quality stuff. What uh, what's the resolution that you guys putting out at? We're running at full 1080p, depending. If, you, if, you, if your TV will take it, um, then it will run at it. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks like that. I mean, it's very, very impressive. I can't wait. And when can we expect, uh, you know, to see more? Or when, obviously, you guys aren't going to give me a release date, even though I would love to get a release date from you. Uh, when can we expect to see around this game? Um, your, yeah, so the game will be out quarter one next year, so 2010. And as we've got so much to, 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 to show, because we have the, the whole three games and the multiplayer, uh, we're going to be basically getting people familiar with the Predator, then we'll probably show them the Marine, and then we'll show them the Alien, which is the one that's quite different. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Alex. Alien vs. Predator. It's just, it's just tentatively, it's just tentatively called Aliens vs. Predator, that's it. Uh, we're still in discussions as to the, the name. Uh, we're just trying to make sure that in case there are any more movies coming out, we don't get confused. Uh, Understandable. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely cool. Either way, thank you so much, Alex. Rebellion Entertainment, publishing by Sega. We'll talk to you guys really soon with the AVP. Cool. Thanks thank you. <laughs>